Thank you. 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 And um, it's great that, uh, uh, and appropriate that um, the House uh, has organised uh, a proper interpretation, sign interpretation for this very important debate. I consider this an issue of equality, an issue of access to information, an issue of, um, uh, if you like, uh, defining us as an Irish nation. Uh, Irish sign language is unique. It's a unique language in its own right. Uh, it affects thousands of uh, uh, deaf people in Ireland. Uh, it is the mechanism which they use to communicate. It is their language, and they are proud of their language. Um, we all know that uh, commitments have been made in terms of uh, uh, recognition of Irish sign language uh, uh, over the years, going back as far as the Good Friday Agreement, uh, where Irish sign language was seen as a united Ireland language, a language of equality, uh, where people from different traditions uh, had a common thread, a common language. Uh, it broke down barriers, and it certainly has and was identified uh, by people, uh, peacemakers in Northern Ireland, as being a symbol of what can be achieved and a symbol of the type of Ireland and the type of uh, uh, society that the people who crafted uh, the Good Friday Agreement aspired to. Uh, that beacon, uh, if you like, of hope and, and light and um, connectivity and equality and embracingness uh, uh, was the reason, in my view, why uh, uh, Irish Sign Language was part of the Good Friday Agreement. Uh, we've seen in recent years many uh, campaigns uh, for recognition of Irish Sign Language and indeed um, promoting it and advancing it is in the programme for government. We have a unique opportunity here tonight in Shannon Aaron, uh, to unanimously support a motion <coughs> uh, uh, recognising the importance of Irish Sign Language and I would see that as a crucial uh, an important, a crucial and important step uh, in the right direction uh, towards eventual recognition. I as an individual and I as a politician am fully committed to the full recognition of Irish Sign Language. Um, other countries have done it successfully. Uh, we can learn from their experience. Uh, if it's something uh, that will take time, well, let's start the process. And I would see this evening as a, a, a process, uh, as the beginning of a process, where a House of the Oireachtas, the Irish Parliament, uh, unanimously recognises uh, 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 the importance of Irish Sign Language. I do this because I believe everybody has a right to full access to information. Uh, people need to be able to go about their daily lives and communicate in terms of doing their daily business with comfort, with ease, and with the knowledge that information is not being suppressed in any way, and that they have full access to information. Uh, many people speak Osgwelga in this country and talk in Irish, and their rights are recognised uh, by the Official Languages Act, I think it is, and that is absolutely appropriate and correct. Uh, Irish Sign Language is the method of communication for thousands of deaf people in this country. And I firmly believe that we need to aspire uh, uh, to full recognition of that in Irish legislation. I want to commend uh, some of my colleagues here who have campaigned on this issue. Senator Mark Daly, who I believe has prepared an Irish Sign Language Bill. Uh, I would sincerely hope uh, that you know, we can work together uh, in the interests of Irish Sign Language because while it is a political issue, it's not a part of a political issue. Uh, I also want to commend uh, other colleagues like um, Senator Koch Keane, who has done enormous work uh, uh, with the deaf community over the years. And indeed, one of her first motions here uh, on the adjournment was in the whole area of Irish Sign Language. Um, there is 
a, a huge amount of political support um, uh, uh, for this. Uh, we just need to identify the correct mechanism to implement it. Uh, we need to, if it needs to be done incrementally, well, so be it. I do believe that the people who are campaigning for recognition of Irish sign language are like myself. Uh, they're reasonable people. Uh, they know that, uh, as the old cliche goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. But what they want to see is a pathway to recognition. Uh, if there are issues, or if there are challenges, or if, if we like to call them the permanent government, for, uh, uh, the civil service have concerns, well, let's hear what the concerns are and let's engage uh, so as we can uh, smooth out those concerns and alleviate those concerns. Uh, today, in the uh, Joint Oireachtas Committee on Justice, Defence and Equality, I proposed that I, I, I informed the committee that this discussion was taking place this evening, that there was a motion before Shannon Aaron and that I would sincerely hope that that motion would be agreed unanimously. And I suggested in the event that uh, this motion is agreed unanimously, that the Oireachtas Committee on Justice would uh, hold a module um, on uh, the uh, Irish Sign Language and the possibility of um, uh, bringing in legislation to facilitate recognition of Irish Sign Language, and that they would hold uh, they would look for submissions and hold uh, oral hearings uh, with uh, uh, the viewpoint to writing a report of recommendations uh, to the Minister and how best to go about it. The committee, I would hope, would look at best international practice, examine where uh, sign language is uh, officially recognised as a language and um, uh, rec make recommendations to government accordingly. As I've said already, we've achieved a lot in this country in the whole area of uh, uh, disability and uh, access and equality. This is one area that I really feel that we have significantly underachieved. Um, uh, I believe that with the capacity legislation which uh, Minister Lynch is, is, is presently uh, bringing through the Houses, that we are going to see uh, Ireland ratify the UN for, uh, uh, Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. Um, what I would like to see is um, the spirit, uh, in advance of that, the spirit of the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities to be embraced. I see uh, Irish Sign Language as being a fundamental part of that spirit of the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. I really believe that as a country we shouldn't really be looking uh, for best practice internationally when it comes to equality of access to information. We should really be setting best practice internationally. And that's why tonight's motion is critically important. With the mandate that the Senate has got from the Irish people last week in the referendum where it was uh, the people overwhelmingly decided to retain the Senate, I think it's issues like this that the Senate can champion. And uh, it, I, I certainly do intend that. And I think tonight is going to be uh, a very important night um, in terms of the future of Irish Sign Language and achieving uh, what many in the gallery want, uh, uh, which is official recognition. Um, it is my pleasure to propose the motion and I look forward to hearing the debate this evening and the contributions from my colleagues from all sides of the floor. Thank you very much.